party. After the main course, go to the loo, put two drops in each eye, they'll go bloodshot, and everyone will think you've puked your food up on purpose. Oh, they'll be so worried about me. Amazing. Oh, I'll take the lot. Right, that'll be uh, 270, 300, 400 pounds. Oh, no. Oh, I've just remembered. I've just bought all these things from Rory over the road. Rory? He's got an amazing shop. It's just like yours, but much more expensive, which is actually quite reassuring in a way. Get out! Oh, cock. Bine, cred că este foarte important la această conferință să lucrăm toate țările împreună, să rezolvăm problema aceasta, nu? Prime Minister, mira că se mai gândește. There is a matter we must discuss. I know, the policy on joint renewables is a mess, but I am keen to discuss co-funding. No, no, something much more important than that. Something every leader at this summit must consider. Carla Bruni or Michelle Obama, who would you bone first? <laughs> um, but going back to renewables, if we pool our research on solar and wind... Then, yes, yes, post-oil age, our children's future, yada, yada, yada. But if you were in a jacuzzi and there was only room for Carla Bruni or Michelle Obama, who's going to get some prime ministerial attention? <laughs> couldn't possibly choose one over the other. But our policy has got oh. to... Oh. 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 You sheep that is not a sheep, but is really a wolf. You'd like them both at once, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you, eh? That's the sort of thing you like. You want to have the dark meat and the white meat all on the same plate. Like Christmas dinner. I can arrange it for you. What for me to do it with Michelle Obama and Carla Bruni at the same time? Yes. Well, not quite. I mean, girls that look just like them. From an agency. I can do that. I'll have them sent up to your suite later. No, look, I have a wife. Perhaps she'd like to go shopping for a few hours in the Diamond District. Uh, no, really. It's on me. My gift to you. And I ask for nothing in return, except the bond of international friendship. Also, I would like you to buy this aircraft carrier. No, look, please, Senor Gabatori, no women, no aircraft carrier. Ah, very well, I understand. I'm sending up a couple of guys, very clean and discreet. I can get ones that look like Putin and Sarkozy, if you like. That's the kind of private summit you'll enjoy. I'm right, aren't I? Yes, I'm right. No. Yes, yes, we have a deal. You'll like the aircraft carrier. Bene, bene, bene. Good, good, good. And now for the 1930s, the original, When Harry Met Sally. Oh, darling, I'm so happy to be your fiancé. Oh, darling, soon we'll be able to spend our whole lives together as a proper married couple. Even. Even what, darling? You know. No? What on earth are you talking about, you silly little thing? I'm sure you do know, darling. I know what happens in marriage. Yes, well, never mind about that. That's one of the more distasteful things about marriage. Yes, it happens, but there's no reason to talk about it. What if I should have a... <laughs> a what, darling? You know, a... <clears throat> I should be frightfully embarrassed. Don't be ridiculous, darling. There's no such thing as a female... <clears throat> oh, but there is, darling. Don't ask me how I know. But I do. Wait here. Ah, Doctor, it's my fiance. I think she might be sick or something. Could you come immediately? Thank you. We're in Luigi's Foreign Food Trattoria in the High Street. Goodbye. Ah, Doctor Little, have a seat, have a drink. You'll need one. What seems to be the chimney? Well, my fiance here seems to think the female is a reality. That's just hearsay and dangerous twaddle. No. The female he him is a myth. No, it is not. It does exist. And what's more, I could recreate it. Her and now. What the? No. <coughs> I'm afraid you 
constituency is quite mental. I shall have her transferred immediately to a mental home. Well, thanks, Doc. You saved me from a lifetime with that mental woman. Indeed, you're a very lucky fellow. Living with that mental woman would have been an absolute heel. I'll have what she is having. Stop, stop, stop. Excuse me, excuse me. Where do I know you from? Milan? Paris? No, I haven't been on holiday this year. No, no, no. I mean, which catwalk? Well, I mean, you are a model, aren't you? I'm not. I work at Marplands. You're kidding me. How could I be a model? I nothing to look at. You? You're stunning. That face, those cheekbones, those eyes, that hair. I bet you photograph a treat. Have you got any pictures of yourself? I've got my rail card. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, wow. I mean, wow. And to think I found you here outside Primark, allow me to introduce myself. Mike Nortz, Nortz and Cross's model agency. Crosses sadly passed away in 1986. But that's neither here nor there. What's your name, my dear? Megan. Well, I don't want to beat about the bush, Megan. I want that face on every billboard across the country pronto. I have never seen anyone like you. Really? Absolutely. Call, fax or page me first thing Monday morning. We'll arrange a photo shoot and then we'll go and see my personal friends, the executives at Saatchi and Saatchi. They will be dazzled. This is amazing. I can't believe this. Believe it, you must. Don't forget now. You won't now, will you now? Monday. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, and one more thing. Yeah? Just, uh, it's my mother, actually. Um, she's taken a bit of a tumble. All right, dear. If you get around there, and I'll get her under the arm here, and she'll pop up like a Polaris missile. Here we go, Mother. Thank you, son. All right, dear. See you, Mandy. Don't forget. <laughs> yeah, you all right, dear? Good. weekend shipping up for you, Charles? Well, I'm popping up to Highgrove on Saturday to pick rhubarb with the Prince of Wales. Oh, how lovely. He does grow the finest rhubarb and all fertilised with his own excrement. Wonderful. Will you be dining there? No, we'll probably go to the pub at Mitchell. Mitch? Mitchinhampton. <laughs> Dear me, Charles, one can hardly imagine the Prince of Wales dining in a pub in Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> and what does Sunday hold in store? Well, I just told you, I'm going to Highgrove. No, you didn't, Charles. You said Saturday. Oh, Saturday, I mean. <laughs> what a complete idiot I am. <laughs> dear me, Charles. Dear me. Dear me. Dear, dear me. What's the square root of 9,409? 97. Who won the Grand National in 1984? Hello, Dandy. What's the Serbian for mountain? Planinska. And the Romanian for roadworks? Trimuria. The Danish, the pastry? Wienerbroich. Bureaucracy is a circle from which no one can escape. Who said that? Karl Marx. In what? In his critique of Hegel's philosophy of right. What's the chemical makeup of amoxicillin? <sighs> C to the power of 16, H to the power of 14, F to the power of 3, N to the power of 3, O to the power of 2S. For goodness sake, Sheridan, you know all this stuff. It's elementary. Indeed I do, Charles. Indeed I do. I do indeedy do, dear. I was just slightly concerned that your mentioned Hampton mix-up and Saturday Sunday screw-up were the indications of the very, very late onset of early Alzheimer's. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad to say, Charles, a star, you passed with flying girl as well done. Now, I'd better get off. I have to chop up Prince of Wales's mother. Her Majesty has a nasty on her toe, and she has to visit a teapot factory in Stoke next Thursday. Doesn't want to be hopping around like a 